Hey guys, it's Naka and Dominic. What's going on? You know what time it is. Ooh, mate, if you see me iced out, okay, my baby okay. did that. Mm. You see that, mate? So, without further ado, let's get right into these questions. You guys asked us some really good questions and we're excited to just answer them first question. to you guys. So the first one is, Naka, are you worried that you won't fit into your wedding dress if you're with child slash pregnant with twins? Um, no, I'm not worried because the dress that I picked is pretty stretch stretchy and I did tell the the lady that I am pregnant, uh, I am... <laughs> <laughs> I did tell the lady that I am planning to be a couple months pregnant by the time we get married. So um, she already knew and we made sure that the dress could be altered to the right size depending on how many months I am when we get married. It's funny because some people did catch on when the girl, there was a couple of clips of the girl yeah. kind of like showing that there's gonna be space in the front. Yeah, I know, yeah. And the other thing is that we did ask to have the dress tailored or altered mm -hmm. basically only a couple of weeks before the wedding. Mm -hmm. So the alterations can be made like very quickly, right before a couple of weeks before the wedding. So it shouldn't change that much. I saw on TikTok some girls like their belly literally grows overnight. So I'm hoping okay. mine doesn't like do like an explosion overnight. Next question. Explosion. How many kids does Dominic want? Just me? Dominic! Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Those who know, write in the comments right now. Yeah. Pause it, write it. Uh, let's see if you're gonna be right. I don't have a spe well, I guess, I don't know if this is the right answer, but I don't have a specific number, but it's more like a minimum. It'll be like a minimum of three or more. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's hard to answer that question without knowing how you'll feel at that moment. Mm -hmm. But for sure, minimum three. I feel like we're gonna... I want to have a lot of kids. And yeah, it's families. annoying because like every time me and Dominic tell people that we want a lot of kids, they're like, really? It's or, like a yeah. negative thing. Or and like, I'm like, They don't believe what? us. Just like... They don't believe that we yeah. want to. Like, we'll change our mind later on or whatever. But, mates, my favorite movie is Cheaper by the Dozen. If I could have 12 kids, I would. Like, I, <laughs> mate, I watch people with a lot of kids all the time on YouTube. That's I just, true. I'm a yeah. family girl. I love big families. I love big families yeah. too because I came from a small family, right? I only have one brother. Yeah. And I, growing up, I always told myself I wanted a bigger family, right? Yeah. I wanted my bigger family. So that's why I have minimum of three because I felt like I would have liked to have a third sibling, right? Yeah. So. Anything more than three, to me is good. I love like, yeah. and my dad has a, a big family, family right? Yeah. Like, there's seven siblings in the family, and I was not envied, but I always like thought it was so fun and so cool. And he tells me all like these childhood stories, mm -hmm. like they're always friends together, and like there was always adventures and stuff. So like, it I would. like to have that for like my family. You had a big family too. I right? so. I have four brothers, right? So um, like growing up, we had it was it's it's an mm. adventure. Like I would play outside with my brothers. Like they were my best. Well, they still are my best friends. So it's like. I would want my kids to experience what I, experience. my childhood yeah. and like the bond that I have with my brothers. Like I tell Dominic, we're gonna tell our kids um, that these are your best friends. Like I saw this YouTuber that I watched, she said like her mom would tell her and her sister, this is your kidney. Like this is like, <laughs> yeah. so I was like, oh my God, we're gonna tell that um, to our kids. So I hope and I pray that our children have a really strong bond like I have with my brothers. Cause nothing sucks more than like having siblings and you don't get along. Hmm. Anyways, next, next question. question. When are you guys getting married? Those of you who have watched, I feel like we've said it multiple a times. A lot of times. Especially like, I find it funny reading that because we literally just said it in like last video. Yeah, so, we talk about our wedding like, all the time. There's always the same question, so I understand there's new people, that's why we don't mind answering mm -hmm. again. So October will be where the wedding is. Yes. Most likely middle end, I would say, but it depends when we find the villa because mm -hmm. we're going off of the availability yeah. of the venue mm -hmm. to get the exact date, but we are planning October. October, fingers crossed, everything goes according to plan. Next question, what's the hardest part about loving someone? That's a good question. For me, the hardest part about loving Dominic is like when I'm mad at him. Like whenever I get mad at Dominic, it's like I don't, him? well yeah, or like, <laughs> me, sometimes I, I do like, or like when, normal, he's, yeah. when I'm annoyed at him, mad at him, it's like, cause when mm. I'm mad at him, I wanna like tell him, especially like if I'm online and I see a funny video when I'm like, I'm like, here, watch this video. But I want to be like excited. So like the hardest part for me about being like loving Dominic is like being mad at him. I wish I could never be mad at him and we can always mm. be giggly and stuff like that. So that's my answer. That's a very good question. I would say 
one like there's a couple things that can be hard but one of them that i find that is is hard is that how vulnerable you are based off of the other person you know like for example mm. it was only like like not long ago like naka was sad and oh, yeah. like then i get extremely emotional like my my only thing is that i want to her to be happy right so when she goes through hard times or like she's sad like just being super vulnerable to the point where like you're open and like you can basically get like completely that's, crushed that's stressing me out because when i get sad and i see dominic sad i get sad that he's sad and then <laughs> i'm like sad and it's like oh yeah, my god yeah. i think so. like the scary part is, is that like you're extremely vulnerable right it's yeah. like that person sees you for who you are and like you have no guard up and you're completely open to mm -hmm. anything that can happen right so it's good but there is some bad to it yeah, too right yeah that's true so. oh that's me <laughs> And sometimes I feel like Dominic takes on my emotions like whatever mm. I'm feeling he like feels it too So I guess mm. that's hard too because like sometimes I'm like I don't want to f like for you to carry the burden of my emotion because me I'm bipolar so I, I think too like when you when you love someone so much like the thought of you losing them Yeah, or like if you just have a thought that like, yeah. you know, what happens if like Naka passes away before mm -hmm. me and I'll be alone and like just the fact of like not being able to live without you yeah it's so scary it's, it's scary yeah. thoughts you know so like just being vulnerable to yeah. that is a little bit scary but yeah. like i said there's a lot of upside mm -hmm. and it far next. outweighs next me <laughs> <laughs> next question dominic always does that when i'm about to read something next, next, next. <laughs> next question when are you guys having a baby Ooh, that's a good question mm -hmm. okay so Obviously, you guys, well, I would hope you guys watched your previous video where I told Dominic I wanted to start trying now. Just because we are actively trying and we don't have any kids. We didn't even know what it was like, like trying or whatever. So in my mind, I was like, okay, if I want to have kids, like let's say in April, we just do the ding ding it in July. And then that's, that's how it is. But a lot of people are like, um, sis, that's not how it is. So, um. It's new to us. So like we yeah. are actively trying to have baby but yeah. obviously like we don't know when it's gonna happen because it's like you don't just snap your fingers yeah right? exactly so, so um any moment hopefully maybe. soon yeah i would be very very happy if the babies were born in april but if they're not i'm still gonna love them like i'm not gonna be like You're yeah not born it, it, in april. it doesn't doesn't matter yeah it doesn't matter yeah. like it is what it is it'd be nice if our babies were born april 14th because mm -hmm. i'm born dominic's born on the 4th of april okay. and i'm born april 19th so they have the one for my birthday and then the four for Dominic. The only thing as long as like, I'm just kidding, there's no as long as. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I've been calculating the dates, but I'm just like that. I'm a mm. planner. I like to for things to be like according to plan and things do fall according to my plans, me. So next question. Last but not least, there's two questions. So one of them is what do you guys have any baby names planned and are you guys vampire diaries fans so these two mm. kind of tie in together and you guys are going to find out why mm -hmm. so they do yeah me personally i used to watch a little bit of vampire diaries but i was never like a fan fan just because i don't know i was kind of like i don't know i just wasn't really into it what about you there was the shit. what do you mean <laughs> vampire Dominic diaries loved and the originals Hmm. The, I I prefer the originals from the Vampire Diaries just because the originals had more like action and stuff mm. like that. Vampire Diaries it was a little bit more like maybe I don't know like drama, I like, Twilight. Or, like high school or stuff like that. I like both though, like both of them. I Twilight? Uh, no. Oh, uh, Vampire didn't Diaries. Like Twilight. Twilight, I didn't mind it. I like know? Twilight. It's like girly. But, like, I would actually watch Vampire Diaries and the originals like, by myself. Was, that's intense. There's some action. I don't know there. what the original is. It's a good storyline. I don't you know, know. There's a little bit of romance, you know, a little bit of drama, a little bit of backstabbing. But, mates, to tie into Vampire Diaries, so <laughs> Dominic came up with a baby name. One of the names on the for list. For if we had a son. It was funny, I just like, she's like, where did the name come from? I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a car from this car. And then I was like, and five minutes later, yeah. I'm like, okay, it came from Vampire Diaries. It's, there's a guy in it that's called this. And I was so. just like, oh, okay. But I never watched Vampire Diaries, so I didn't know. But um, Guess, guess yeah. in the comments. What, guess in the comments yeah. what the name is. I, I, I feel like you guys can... That, that's an extremely good hint that it was Vampire Diaries. And it's also 
the name of a car. Yeah. Of a model of a car. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's all we say. And then our next, we have, guys, because we have to pick two names. We are hoping. It's twin mates. You already know my mom had a dream. I had twins, so this is gonna happen. Maybe not she this pregnancy. Yeah, ago. maybe not this pregnancy or the other one or the other one or the other yeah. one. But it's gonna be one in of there. Them. Yeah, so yeah. better be prepared, mates. So we already have our boys and girls name picked out. Yeah, she has oh. a list. She has I have a list a that, that she goes down. Let me know. Add some, <laughs> eliminate some every couple of days. Guys, let me know if you want us to do like when, obviously when we're pregnant and we announce it and mm. everything, if you guys want us to do baby names that we like. Guys. And what? I'm on the toilet sometimes and she comes up beside me. She's like, what do you think of this day? I'm like, yo, can I chill for a second? Anyways, mate, you guys are super excited. Prepared. Yeah, we're so excited. Um, hopefully you I guys- I did the same. Kind of. <laughs> you, Dominic started doing it now. Yeah. Now. But anyways, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you in our next video. Smash like button, comment, subscribe. Toodaloo! Talk to you soon. Bye.